Okay, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to give you the link to the stereo site where you could uh, see Tom and L and M from Stereo B. What you want to do when you click that link is you want to put, uh, I, I'm going to choose the date. You got to do the year first, 2011. In the month, 08, and I choose the day is 14 because that's the day right before she shows up on the uh, video. And then end time, I'm going to put 2011-08 today, the 20th. And then you want to go right here to resolution and choose the highest resolution because she's small and you won't, you won't be able to see her. Then click slideshow right here. Down here it says display one image per and I think I, your two choices are hour or day. I'm not sure, but I just put hour. So you are. And a little glitch I notice. If you click anything out here, like right there, I just click right here off outside the statistic box. And then you press enter. Nothing happens. So in case that happens to y'all, what you want to do is you want to make sure the last thing you've clicked was inside this box. Oh, and you also you want to hit uh, behind, satellite behind, high one. And make sure you click inside this box. And then hit enter. And here comes the video. And there it is. Let's scroll it up. All right, there's comma Ellenin. I watch when she gets to this line right here. The sun starts gearing up for a solar flare. And sure enough, there goes a solar flare. And I think they're turning the cameras down uh, to not damage the lens or something. I'm not sure. But that is definitely common element right here. You can tell she's fuzzy. And and you can see her orbit's going at a, this angle right here. While everything else is going horizontally, she's coming up from below the solar plane. Here she is. I'm going to go up here to my view. And I'm going to blow it up to... Uh, let me go 150%, see if it'll get a better picture. Okay, where is she? Alright, there she is. Right here. Alright, now she's going to go into here. She gets this black line. I don't know what that black line is. But you'll notice they start increasing the increments here they don't do it by the hour now they're doing it see right here it's by the hour and watch when she gets here there she is when she gets here on august 19th or 20th they start in watch the time increments 17th they start doubling them up Hell, they even went eight hours ahead of time one time. But, uh, so anyway, I got curious as did we take a, uh, a solar hit. So I went to my, to the Earth's magnetosphere and played it. Let's go start it over here. And I got this is dated August 19th. Everything's looking normal. Anytime the blue north line, uh, north is to blue flux lines are up north and the reds down south. And see, they're starting to fluctuate a little bit. That's normal. And sometimes Earth's magnetic sphere uh, gets wound up real tight. You know it's about to take a hit. 
And sure enough, watch what happens. It's about to happen. Right here's the bow shield. Bam. Here it comes. Wham. Now that was a hit. Here, I'm going to back up and do that again. Wham. Look at that. If you look at the density, that's almost off the chart. And I'll put y'all a link up there where you can see the come to this uh, Earth's magnetic shield if you want to look at it, play with it. Uh, you can go back to the ar go to the archives and look at March 11th on it. It's amazing. And okay, there you go. Have a good day.